The New Roots Community Farm in Fayetteville is on the grounds of the old Whitlock Farm. But what makes this farm special is what it provides for the community, and Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders introduces us to the young female farmer running it. I'm just uh, following the things that I believe in and that uh, I'm passionate about and the work that I like to do, and so that's what has led me into this position. But I think it's important also to see uh, representation does matter and it's important for young women to see themselves uh, in these roles and so uh, maybe that's what I'm doing here. But Susanna Wheeler is not just here to be a role model. She's running an 84 acre Fayette County farm. A Charleston native and a West Virginia University graduate, she came to the area back in 2012 and started farming in Nicholas County. Connections made there brought her to Fayette County, where she began farming on leased land. When the Fayette County Farmland Protection Board purchased the old Whitlock farm, they had a vision to turn it into New Roots Community Farm and wanted to put Wheeler at the head of it. Community farm means that we will engage in some community gardening. We're going to work on food access issues. We're going to work on education and training for new and beginning farmers. And we're really here to just facilitate and support the community to create a food system that they want to see here. And she has the Fayette County Resource Coordinator's Office, the County Commission, the Protection Board, and the Urban Renewal Authority all on her side. And with the help of grants, they're able to fund the farm. The goal is to provide a space for the community to come, learn, and eventually be able to grow fresh foods. I want to be in this community. Uh, I made a lot of really great friends. And I see the potential of Fayette County and Fayetteville uh, to develop uh, a more sustainable and equitable food system for the people that live here. Reporting in Fayetteville, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. And tomorrow, if you want to check out the farm, they are doing a free fall harvest celebration from 5 to 9 with pumpkin carvings, food, and a chance to learn about the work the farm is doing.